Hello my dear family members, today we have an exciting topic that has the potential to unlock the solutions to numerous coding challenges. If you are looking to level up your programming skills and tackle a variety of problems with ease, this is the video for you. We are going to enter deep into a powerful coding technique that involves just a few lines of code and this snippet has the potential to make solving 10 to 15 coding challenges a breeze. If you are preparing for MNCs, then this video is very much helpful to you. So buckle up and get ready to enhance your problem solving skills. So let's see the snippet I am going to discuss today. So the snippet is this. Now you might be wondering what does this code do? It seems like a simple piece of arithmetic operations with variables uh, result in last digit etc etc but uh, but 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 don't be fooled by its apparent simplicity today we'll unravel the secrets behind this code and explore how it can be applied to a range of programming challenges by the end of the video you will not only understand the logic behind the code but also have the skills to confidently apply it to a wide range of problems right so let's see the logic Actually, in the exam, you will not be asked to write only this uh, much of code, right? This is the concept which you have to implement into your problem, right? Like, let's say you will be, you will not be asked only to write Armstrong number or only, only, only to write palindrome number, only to write LCM or HCF code. But it may be, but most of the time you have to implement this snippet, this concept into your code, right? okay so at first uh, let's say you will be given a number and you have to store the last digit right and with that last digit you have to do some operations arithmetic operations to achieve your goal right so and then you have to reduce the last digit i mean remove the last digit from the uh, n to sorry this should be n right to to do what to actually move to the next iteration for the while loop right so, and you have to run the while loop until or unless n not equal to zero to achieve your goal right and you have to at first store the uh, i mean you have to at first initialize result as zero to do some operations with result right so this much of code is very much important why i'm going to explain so let's uh, look at some problems i mean uh, various problems which is being implemented by this concept hello my dear family members i want to share a good news that is in the last few months total 350 candidates have purchased our prime materials and out of those total 289 candidates got selected in various events so you can also believe in our materials so if you want tcs and qt or extension materials then you can knock me at our insta id instagram.com slash techno.us so this is the first problem which is being implemented by the same concept right so in the in the exam maybe you, you will be asked like write a program to find sum of digits of a number right this might be very uh, easy to you but uh, this is very important for many of our family members who are preparing for competitive programming right so if uh, input is 373 then output is 13 why 37 uh, 3 plus 7 is equal to 10 plus 3 is equal to 13 right so uh, you have to find uh, you have to write the code so the same concept right so at first run a while loop until or unless n becomes 0 and store the last digit how n mod 10 so this is actually store the last digit so it will at first store 3 then i mean, I mean this 3 right and then uh, it will do this arithmetic operations by which it will store 0 plus 3 and uh, the result becomes 3 and it reduces the last digit remove the last digit from n right okay and it, this means n is equal to n by 10 right uh, okay so uh, the number n becomes 3 7 right okay and it will go to the, uh, the, the the control goes to here and this checks if n not equal to 0 yes 37 not equal to 0 
and it, it will again store the last digit that is now uh, 37 so it will store the last digit that is 7 right okay then it will do the same arithmetic operations so result was what 3 and 3 plus 7 is equal to 10 now right okay now it will uh, the, the, the control will go here and n is equal to n by 10 will be uh, 3 right so 37 by 3 is equal to 3 right okay now the loop uh, control will go here and n is still not equal to 0 so last digit will be uh, 3 mod 10 that will be 3 right not 0 right okay now it will uh, do the same arithmetic operations result is equal to result plus last digit so result was 10 plus 3 is equal to 13 and it will go here and 3 by 10 uh, sorry 3 and n is equal to 3 by 10 that is 0 right okay so i hope you understood then it, if if the control goes here and n it will check if n not equal to 0 no this is not set being satisfied so it will just out go out of the while loop and uh, do the next operations right okay now if you just print the result then you will get the sum of digits right so this same concept is uh, very much important for any uh, many other problems as well so let's see so let's say you are asked about to solve the problem i mean to write a program to find reverse a number right reverse a number is also important concept in competitive programming so please i am giving you the task please do the problem solve the problem and give the answers in the comment section so that i will be very much motivated and i will be uploading such videos in which i will give you a code snippet and by which you will be able to solve many coding problems right so if you want please be uh, please be continue be be consistent in my content and please give answers right okay so please solve this problem using the same concept and if you are uh, looking for palindrome problem now then this is very important right sorry so let me copy the code from here okay if you are going to solve the problem uh, of palindrome number so let's say the number is uh, 373 now okay so now you are asked to find write a program to find palindrome number right so at first the input is 373 that is n is equal to 373 and you are initializing result is equal to 0 right and you are looping until or unless n not equal to 0 so at first you are uh, storing last digit right so n mod 10 is equal to uh, what 30 uh, sorry 3 right so now you have to just modify the arithmetic operations 10 multiply result plus last digit and you will get the desired output just uh, modifying a little right so now result becomes 10 into 0 at first so result was 0 10 into 0 is 0 plus last digit is equal to 3 right so at first the result is 3 now n becomes 37 and n is not equal to 0 now so it is true and it, again it the, the last digit variable store n mod 10 that means what uh, that is the number was 37 and the last digit is now 7 and uh, the result was 3 so 3 multiplied 10 is th uh, 30 plus last digit is 7 so this becomes 37 and the number was 37 so 37 uh, by 10 if you are reduced by one digit then the number becomes 3 so again it will check if not equal to 0 yes not equal to 0 and last digit will be what uh, last digit will be 3 right so now result was 37 so 37 multiplied 10 is equal to 370 plus last digit, last digit is equal to 3 so 373 right and it will be now 0 right n is equal to 3 by 10 is equal to 0 right okay now you will be checking if now you have to implement if uh, a block to check if the n 
द सेम एन इज इक्वल टू इक्वल टू थ्री सेवन थ्री इफ यू आर गेटिंग द सेम देन दिस इज अ पेलिंड्रम और इफ दिस इज नॉट सेम देन दिस इज नॉट अ पेलिंड्रम राइट एंड हेयर इज अ कैच वाट दैट इज एन नाउ बिकम्स वाट एन नाउ बिकम्स जीरो सो यू विल नॉट यू शुड नॉट चेक इफ एन इक्वल टू इक्वल टू रिजल्ट राइट सो एज वी आर इनकॉर्पोरेटिंग द वैल्यूज ऑफ एन सो वी हैव टू स्टोर द एन वैल्यू इन टू न्यू वेरिएबल राइट सो लेट से वेर इज इक्वल टू एन राइट सो एट फर्स्ट यू हैव टू स्टोर द वैल्यू ऑफ एन इन टू अ न्यू वेरिएबल टू टू मैनिकुलेट द वैल्यू राइट सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड एंड इन द सेम वे यू विल बी आस्ट लाइक कॉन्वर्ट द नंबर इन टू अ पेलिंडम नंबर और यू विल बी आस्ट लाइक इफ द इनपुट इज सेवन सिक्स सेवन सिक्स देन हाउ मेनी नंबर्स हाउ मेनी डिजिट्स यू विल हैव टू एड और कॉन्कैटिनेट विद द नंबर टू मेक दिस अ पेलिंड्रम नंबर दिस इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एक्सेंचर और इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर टेक महिंद्रा राइट so please uh, be aware of that right so i am giving you task please solve this problem uh, by uh, just after watching the video right okay now uh, the, in the same concept you will have to solve the problem like armstrong number right so it will be given like input 370 and you have to find if this is a if this is an armstrong number or not so what is armstrong number that is If you uh, do this operations, then it will be three seventy, right? So if this becomes three seventy, this three is the size of this, right? Count, uh, count of the digits, right? So just do this operations and check if this is becoming the same as it was, right? So if this, then the number is Armstrong number, right? and uh, now uh, you will be you can be asked right uh, find armstrong number in a given range right so you will be given like uh, find armstrong number between 1 to 1 to 1000 right 1 to 1000 so you have to find that so please uh, run a for loop and so uh, implement this same logic and find all the armstrong number between 1 to 1000 and please if you are solving uh this problems then don't forget to copy and paste the answers in the comment section i will like i and i'll give you a heart to your comment right and in the same concept you will be asked like uh, find strong number and what is strong number that is you have to store the last digit and you have to find the factorial of each digit and add those and make a sum of this 145 if this becomes 145 then this is a strong number according to this logic right and output is true so find uh, the answers as well and you can be asked like uh, this is various uh, several times that the problem asked about find count the digits right so how many how many digits are there just count right this is important for tik mahindra accenture tcs everywhere and uh, it might be very easy but you have to implement a uh, count of digits right so i hope uh, this session was very much helpful to you so if you want more such content then don't forget to like and subscribe this channel and don't forget to share this channel with your friends so that they can also take help from this right and before i end the session i would like to inform you that i have prepared Uh, two materials at as of now that is one of tcs and one of uh, is uh, accenture so i have included all the previous year coding questions and all the uh, mock test you required so if you want then please knock me at my insta id instagram.com/techno.uf i will provide you right so thank you for today's session